Hello boys Good morning All the boys of English version 9 and 10 are welcome to this online class On behalf of St. Gregory's High School and College Here I am Muhammad Johar Islam I'd like to present today Surah Al-Inshira that belongs lesson 9 Surah Al-Inshira belongs to lesson 9 first of all I'd like to introduce the Surah before you and you boys are suggested to take your copies to note down the important information so let's get started Surah Al-Inshira is one of the Makki Surahs here the first uh, very first uh, information to be noted where was Surah Al Inshira revealed? Absolutely in Makkah. That's why it is called a Makki Surah. The total number of its ayat is 8. So the second information is how many ayats are there in Surah Al Inshira? The so boys need to write down here. There are eight ayats or verses in Surah Al Inshira. So, how many verses? How many verses? Eight verses or eight ayats. This is the 94th Surah of Al Quran. What is the sequence number of Surah Al Inshira? Surah Inshira uh, is 94th Surah of Al Quran. In view of the verb uh, root Nashruh or Nashroh in the first ayat of this surah it has been titled Al Inshira. So you know the surah Inshira was named after the first word uh, you know after the word Nashrun or Nashroh which has come in the first ayat. Now Shan Inujul or the revelation background the background of revelation Shan Inujul even before receiving prophethood the great prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was a highly respected man, men from the whole war of Arabia loved and respected him. They called him Al Amin and they entrusted their valuable things with him without any hesitation. Above all, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was favorite to them and a man of high honor, but after receiving the prophethood as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was inviting all to Islam the Makkans began to oppose him they continued to ridicule and harass him in a number of ways they caused him pain by branding him as a poet fortune teller magician insane etc they continued their oppression and for torture against the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and those companions who were newly converted to islam even they cast the in intestine of dead camel on him when he was praying you know the garbage actually the intestine of camel death camel here the very rotten garbage from the dead camel and camel's body uh, inner side the intestine are existed inner side of a camel so you know that is the 
very worst and rotten uh, you know thing and that was the worst garbage so the non-believer or the kafir were used to torture him with those intestine of death camel throwing on him during his prayer also strew thrones on his path <coughs> put their fingers into put their fingers into their ears as a sign of avoiding his masses thus the unbelievers were causing him untold sufferings at such taunting and ridicule and just manners and oppression and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam became worried and disappointed in such circumstances allah the most high revealed this surah to console the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so boys you have come to know the background or the shan nuzul now i'd like to mention some words to be memorized and you should write down also on your script with the uh, meaning now let's start from the left side sadraka sadraka means your chest wada'na we have removed wada'na means we have removed wizraka your burden anqada broke or bent zahraka your back rafa'na we have rebuilt or uh, we have elevated or rafa'na means we have elevated zikraka your fame usrun pain or danger fansab then put in your efforts and uh, last and the ultimate one is fargob pay attention or be inclined here boys you should read all the words with their meaning but i have marked some important one so you need to also uh, write down and memorize along with their meanings uh, don't forget to memorize these words with their meaning now the pronunciation of this surah then the next class we shall discuss the translation and the explanation bismillahir rahmanir rahim alam nashrah laka sadrak wa wada'na 'anka wizrak alladhi anqada zahrak wa rafa'na laka dhikrak fa inna ma'al 'usri yusran inna ma'al 'usri yusra fa idha faragta fansab wa ila rabbika faragab so boys this is all about the recitation i think you will do better than me and you will try to recite this surah uh, it will also help in your daily prayer if you can memorize this one so let's try to memorize this surah in the next class we shall talk again till then remain well all thanks very much for joining the class